In the accelerated program, we did cover some maps, but they were pretty basic in terms of we map something, we put some colors on it, and that's it. But you can do so much with maps. So I'm going to show you some more features and give you some more ideas of what you can do. Let's just wait for my mouse to wake up. Okay. If I want to map anything, the first thing I'm going to make sure of is I've got this map data type. And the way to ensure that is to make sure it's been set to that data type. Tableau is pretty intelligent in recognizing when you've got a column of mapping information, like you've got cities or postcodes or longitude and latitude, which works a bit differently, so we won't cover that. Uh, maybe if you're interested in how to map specific longitude and latitude, let me know and I'll create a video for it if there's high demand for it. Um, but for the most part, Tableau can cross-reference known locations and determine the longitude and latitude all the way up to the postcode level. So far as I know, it can't get to the suburb level or it can't, and it can't get to the address, like a person's address specifically. There are, I believe, some Google tools that can do that, right? You do have to pay for some of the mapping software, but for what it does, it's, I believe it's worth it if you need that kind of analysis. So let's begin. I'm going to pick city, right? Because I want to get a lot of points. All right? So I simply double click. Right? And that's automatically going to map everything in Europe for our data set. So I forgot to mention one more thing. If your information actually isn't set to a map, you can really just right click it, geographical role, and set it to the one you need. Okay, city, or you can have state, zip code, right? And that will automatically try and read it. As, as much as it can, right? If you have something that's put in like the word, I don't know, hippopotamus, and it's obviously not a place, you're going to see a little button here that will say could not find location, and you can go ahead and correct that. You can either filter it out completely, or there's an option to just say set it to like a corrected location, right? I tend to not use that because I do the cleaning before it gets to Tableau, right? Okay, we've got all our maps, and actually, I might not go to the city level. We might just go to the country level for the next thing we're going to do. Okay, so we've got our countries here. And what I want to show you is, let's say we're going to, we can actually split this. Okay, let's bring in some values first. Let's look for sales. Okay, let's drop that into color. Right, and we now have sales. What if I wanted to see this in terms of segments or categories? Instead of creating three for each category, I can actually just drop category into columns. And now I have a map for each category. Pretty cool, right? I can also do, let's say I'm going to replace this. Oh yeah, neat little trick. You can either get rid of it like that, right click and remove it. Or if you're going to replace it, if you look for what you're replacing with, let's say segment, you can just drop it on top. And you'll see this little, it's, it's a bit hard to see, but you see a black line appear around it. And that will just quickly replace it. So neat little trick. Okay, so you can do that. We can bring in, let's say, category in the rows, and you can have a pretty cool looking map. Okay, this leads me to my next point, which is how do you put two maps together, right? Let's say I wanted to overlay the states, right? What do we got here? Countries and states. One is going to be like a region map or an area kind of plot, and the other one will be dots, okay? Neat, neat little feature. Let's do a fresh one. It's actually very simple. Let's grab, let's say, we'll do it by state, this one. Uh, yeah, let's do it by actually country. Okay, and the way you create two of these, okay, is to grab longitude and duplicate it. So I can hold control on my keyboard, like so, and now I have two. And I can modify just one of them. So if I click this first one, Okay, we're going to be working in here, and I'm going to change this to an area plot. Go area. Oh, sorry, map. All right, so now I'm going to map region, and let's say I want to introduce sales as my color. Let's drop that in there. Okay, and the other one changed automatically, so let's go back and change that. So it's this one right here, which is this one, which is this second one, and we're going to force this to be a circle. Okay, so now we have two. And let's say I actually don't want this one to be sales. I want the, this one to be profit. I'm going to replace this with profit. Let's look for a profit. Let's drop it on top. 
Okay, that is now profit. And I want to see the ones that aren't profiting uh, or they're profiting poorly. So we'll replace this with maybe a black red. Go apply. I can now see that these ones are the bad ones. And I want to overlay it with the sales of the region. And the way to do that is a jewel axis. So I right click this one right here, jewel axis, and that puts them on top of one another. So I can actually see that whilst maybe the sales or the sales here are low, the profit is also low. But if I zoom in, right, and the way you zoom in is if I go to this triangle, I can look for this one, right, zoom area, and let's have a closer look. Okay, God, that's so cool. Right, so I can see here that this profit is a little is low, and oh, sorry, the sales are low, and the profit is low. But let's look for a darker area, and I think I know what's happened. Why I can't really see it? Maybe the the other way around. Nope, that's not it. Okay, let's make this one a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click on size, All right? So I can see it a bit better. Okay, and let's look for a deep red. So this this one's a problem, this one's a problem, and their sales aren't good either. Because you can have a region that is both, let's use a pan tool, that is high in sales, but very poor in profit as well, right? Okay, so that's a neat little trick you can use. And one other thing I'm going to show you is another combination of a dual access. This time, instead of a dot, we're going to use a pie chart. Yes, you heard me, a pie chart. Right, And what we're going to do first, just to kind of simplify things, because it is quite a big map, is I only want to show this area right here. Let me get my drawing tool out. I just want to show the UK. Okay. Now, instead of dropping country into filters, which can be a bit annoying, I'm going to go instead here. I'm going to use this selector tool, right, the square one, and I'm going to put a box around this one. And be sure to include this little, uh, include the dot as well, right? Let's select that, and I'm going to go keep only. And the way this keep only appears is if I move around, it's going to disappear. If I drop my mouse over it, but don't click or move anything, that'll come up. Okay, let me show you that again. It takes a little while to get used to. All right, keep only, keep only. You can also go right click and go keep only exclude. The only thing I don't like about this one is whilst in the desktop mode, this appears. When you start publishing your dashboards on the cloud, you don't have this option. So it's a good idea to get used to um, the hover function, like so. Okay, I'm going to go keep only. Okay, and you'll see that all the other ones have disappeared. Why? Because a filter has now been created from our keep only. And if I come in here into country, you'll see that Ireland, right? United Kingdom have both been selected based on our keep only. And if I want to zoom into this one, I can either use these functions and zoom in, right? I can do something like this, okay? Or if I want it to auto fit, I just turn off this, okay? And that will auto fit to the area. Okay, now what we're going to do is introduce a pie chart where these dots are. And maybe I want to show something like Whilst I have the sales, I want to know the sales by category in a pie chart. So I can see multiple things at once, right? And here's how you do it. It's actually very simple to do. Let's move this one first. Just move it a little bit higher. And we're going to convert this one, the dot, which is this second one, to a pie. All right? So we go ahead and click that right up here. And we are now in this one, all right? Okay? And we're going to change this to a pie, like so. Now we have these as pies. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. And we're not going to show sum of profit. We're going to do the sum of sales. So we're going to replace that. Okay, we actually, uh, yeah, should we make it that color? Maybe we'll make it a different color so you can see. All right. Mm, let me think. Actually, we're going to color it by category because that's actually what we're trying to do. So if I come back up here, I'm going to drop category into color, all right, like so. So now I have a pie chart. But what you'll see is that they're all actually the same size. All right, let me zoom in a bit so you can see. Okay, they're all the same size. And let's give it just a little border, so color, border, just so we can see. Okay, and the reason they're the same size is we haven't given values to each of these elements yet. Right, so we're going to do that. We're going to use sales. So if I go sales and drop it into angle, like so, now I can see the split 
in sales. So 179,000, this one is 6,472, right? And we can also size the pie chart based on the total sales. So if we grab sales on top of size, it shows that the sales in the UK are significantly larger than in Ireland. I hope this is Ireland. I'm not good at geography. Yes, it's Ireland. Disregard, <laughs> right? So I can see that. And I can also do everything we do with pie charts, which is adding a label. Okay, so we know that the blue is furniture. We can add in the value, so I can just duplicate sales into label. We can make it a percentage using a quick table that we just learned. Okay, percent of total. All right, so we can see a majority. Oh, sorry, hang on, that's not right. That is because this should be by, I think, category. That's the one, right? Because it was doing it for the whole thing. I just want it to be in its own one. Okay, so that one was set to category. Okay, I think that's right. Is that right? 38, 32, yeah. 38, 50, 38. I think that's right. No, maybe that's supposed to be country. Nope, I think it is that one. 38. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's hope that that's right. But that's basically how you would do that kind of analysis. So again, added features for your mapping, maybe give you some new ideas on how you can represent some of your data. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.